just got back from Tokyo! Oh my god, it was like the best two weeks of my life. It was so amazing. Um, best city ever. I would go back in a heartbeat. Uh, if you have the opportunity, definitely go to Tokyo. It's so cool. Um, I gotta practice Japanese. I gotta eat so much good food. And of course, I did a ton of shopping. I am going to do a haul video of everything I got in Tokyo. Let's go! Of course, I got some new dresses. I got this really like oversized galaxy sweatshirt. Just so technically it's not a dress, but I wear it as a dress. I also got this super cute, um, super cute kind of Gyaru style dress. Um, it has parfaits on the bottom, which is adorable. I got a, um, a Liz Lisa dress. I'm so excited to get this dress, it's so cute. It has big bows on the side and little ruffles. And the final dress I got is a dress from one of my longtime favorite brands, Jesus Diamante. Uh, it's got a cute little rosette in the back. It's very, like, super Gyaru for sure, uh, which is cool. I don't usually wear that fashion a lot, uh, but it's like I'm definitely getting into and kind of learning more about. Um, super cute. I did actually go to the Jesus Diamante store, uh, which I'm kind of sad about because I've always wanted to visit. Yeah, so I actually got this at Closet Child, which was, um, if you don't know, Closet Child is a second-hand Japanese fashion shop, or Japanese street fashion. They sell a lot of, like, goth and Lolita, Tomei K, and even some Gyaru styles. And so that's a really good option if you are on a budget, but you still want to wear that verando. Also got a bunch of tights. I got these ones from Innocent World. Um, I'm blanking on the name of the print. I'll put a caption it. Uh, <laughs> it matches um, one of their current collections. I went to Innocent World with Sarah Kate, adorable on YouTube, because it's one of, it is actually her favorite um, Japanese fashion brand, and so we checked out their shop. Uh, we both wore Innocent World to the shop, which was kind of fun. Uh, I know there's some etiquette girl like to wear the Lolita brand to the Lolita shop. I know um, I, our friend Lore, lovely Lore on YouTube, I'll link her as well, even though she wasn't with us, unfortunately. Um, she is such a like stickler for wearing Lolita brand to the Lolita shop you're going to. We went to San Francisco together and she changed in a Burger King so that way she could wear baby to the baby and star shine bright and wear angelic pretty to the angelic pretty shop, which is super funny. I also got these uh, baby and star shine bright for um, the Disney store for Dis Japanese Disney um, OTK socks and it's got all some Wonderland print all over it. I think these are out of the package because I wore them already. I wore these to Tokyo Disney, but they're the um, Marie or Aristocats collaboration with Angelic Pretty and it has Marie on it and then little roses and pearls all the way up. And so I got some tights with roses, tights with little twin stars. Where's that? Little twin stars. It's really hard to see because they're super sheer. I got one last pair of tights. I got so many tights um, from Nile Perch, which is another one of my a brand I've always wanted to visit. This is my first time at the Nile Perch shop. Uh, got a lot of cute stuff there. They, they have so many cute things. I got these tights with unicorns on them, and I learned a new vocab word from the shop girl at Nile Perch, which is Uniko, which is Japanese for unicorn. While I was visiting Japan, it ended up being really chilly a few days, so I ended up picking up a couple jackets. I got this really cute denim jacket, which just looks kind of like a regular denim jacket. It's a nice color, a nice wash. Um, but wait, it has a sailor collar. Speaking of Liz Lisa, I did get these really cute shoes. Um, they might be a little scuffed because I've already worn them out a bunch, but um, so they had, Liz Lisa had so many cute shoes. Something I was really, really, really excited to get um, was this coat from one of my new favorite brands, Bubbles. Um, I hadn't been to Bubbles or shopped for Bubbles before this trip, but I had seen them kind of come up a bunch in the La Cara magazine the last couple, like recently, and then a few months ago I saw on a, someone scanned a Cara on Tumblr a, like a fashion story with a girl wearing this coat. It's just like a big fur coat, kind of like a leopard fur coat, but it's not. It's deer fur! Well, it's not real fur. It's definitely faux. I promise I would not wear a deer, that'd be so rude, but it's so soft and so wonderful and I actually wore this to the Nara deer park so I could try to convince the deer that I was one of them. I don't know if they bought it, but 
that was cute. I also got one more Gary style skirt it's from a really cute brand called The Lily. And uh, this one is pink and gingham and it's so cute. I also scored some adorable Jane Marple sweaters. The first three are from Closet Child, so they are from older collections, and I got them for a super good price. Um, so I got a Jane Marple sweater with a little lion on it, which I can wear with a lot of the skirts I have. I got those super cute well, with poodle, or not poodles, sorry. Yeah, poodles? Uh, yeah, it's got poodles, and um, this is from the collection, I think it's called Miss Peggy. And then the last one I got is from an Alice in Wonderland collection, and it says Drink Me on it, which is super cute and short sleeves so I can wear it for summer courts. And then the last sweater I got, I didn't get a closet child. I actually bought this at the Jane Marble store, which was such an amazing experience. Um, honestly, as a Jane Marble fan, it was really cool to go to this um, actual store for the first time. I have obviously never been before. The shop girl was super sweet. Uh, it was actually really interesting because she didn't speak any English, so I got to really uh, practice my Japanese. Because a lot of times when you try to speak to someone, especially someone who works in a shop or in a customer service position, they will see that you speak English and kind of answer you in English, which takes the fun out of it a little bit. So we spoke in Japanese for like a good 20 minutes, which was probably one of my longest all Japanese conversations, so I felt pretty good about that. Um, and I bought this uh, really super cute um, crop short sleeve sweater from their current collection, and it just says, oh delicious, and it has the crown cake. Of course, you can't go to Tokyo without getting eyelashes, so I found these super cute Sailor Moon and Sailor Venus eyelashes at the Kittyland store in uh, Harajuku, which is a four-story toy store. It has like every um, type of Japanese toy you can think of. It's got Gorilla Kuma, Gorilla Kuma, Totoro, all that. And um, I didn't think I was really gonna uh, buy much there. I'm more just having fun looking around until I got to the Sailor Moon section. And then I went a little bit wild. <laughs> I got these eyelashes, which I'm really excited to bust out of the packages and try. And I also got um, some cool stationery. I got these two pens, um, Sailor Moon and Sailor Venus's wands as ballpoint pens. So I'm going to take some important, serious adult notes with my Sailor Moon pens. And I also got, of course, a Luna Disguise pen. Let's see if it works. I need batteries. While we're on the subject of stationery, I did get this super cute unicorn pencil case from Swimmer. Also got this heart mirror that looks like a kind of magical girl transformation wand. So I'm definitely gonna find like a prime spot for this on my vanity so I can feel like a magical girl when I get ready in the morning. I mean, I already do. While I was at Swimmer, I also scored these super cute um, heart barrettes that can be barrettes or they can also be brooches so I can do a lot of cute things with this I'm excited to wear these I got a Marie brooch from the Tokyo Disney store so I'm excited to wear that one too um, some different front earrings from some vintage shops I got um, of course some makeup from Etude House which is obviously a Korean brand but it's really popular in Japan so they have a uh, really cool Harajuku store it's beautiful if you ever have a chance to go. There's a big pink dollhouse and like fancy mirrors and a pretty pink vanity. It's so girly, but I got a few cheap tints and blushers. I'm excited about those. I got my favorite sunscreen. Uh, they sell this at pretty much every kombini or beauty shop, obviously, but kombinis are an easy place to buy it. Um, I got some comic books from a manga store to translate. They're all in Japanese, um, and I once figured out we could try and take them into English as a fun little language exercise as I'm trying to wrap my head around the language a bit better. I got um, this one, the, what is it called, Le Rose de Versailles, which I know is pretty popular and this one's actually probably way above my reading level. I only know maybe a dozen kanji, so I'm really under work for this one, but I thought I could work up to it and I really love Marie Antoinette, obviously. Uh, I got something that's a lot easier, uh, Gaoko Chan manga. Uh, these are super cute and fun and they're all short stories, totally easy to read. It does have kanji, um, but they're pretty easy to translate. There's not that many and they're, they're really gratifying because the stories just do over on a couple pages. So 
if you're starting out and you want something fun, and this is definitely very funny, I got another manga from Jump Comics, which is pretty easy because a lot of their kanji also has the um, hiragana kind of way to say it written small next to it if it's a tricky one. So that's uh, really easy to buy from Jump Comics if you're starting out too. Breakfast at Tiffany's manga. I got the first couple in the series. I'm. I like, I really always love that movie, Brooks of Tiffany's is one of my all-time favorite movies, so this is just too cute to pass up, so I'm excited to read this very slowly as well. And then of course I got my favorite, um, favorite type of print media, magazines! I got an issue of, the current issue of Ageha, which is a Garu magazine, lots of cute gal styles, uh, cute fashion, and of course, Hair and makeup tutorials, which is so cute and fun. I uh, definitely pop those open when I don't know what to do with my hair every day. Uh, they have the cutest hair ideas, so Agaha is super fun. I got, of course, the Gothic and Lolita Bible. Um, you can't go to Japan and not get this if you're into Lolita or, <laughs> I guess, Lolita fashion. Uh, of course, they've got all the current collections from brands and some cool editorial stories. It's a good one, and if, yeah, as you may know, Gothic Holy the Bible always comes with sewing patterns, so you can make um, some brand accessories, even if you don't, or some brand pieces, even if you can't afford to buy from the actual brands. So that's a really cool thing they do, and um, I'm not the best sewer in the world, but I might try to make one of these. And my very favorite fashion magazine is Kara. Uh, they have all different sorts of styles in here, not just Lolita, but they have Decora and Visual K and really just any sort of cool Japanese fashion. And I was lucky enough to visit Japan kind of, I guess, in between issues of Kara, because when I got there, this one was on the stands, and as I was like halfway through my visit, they all got replaced with this one, so I was able to pick up two Karas! One more thing I got from my Tokyo trip is a ton of hats and hair accessories, which are some of my favorite things. I love like wearing cute hats and putting things in my hair, so it was fun to pick up a bunch there. I got this super cute hat bow from Angelic Pretty, uh, which goes with, it's just a simple ivory one, so it goes with a lot of different outfits. Um, I got another Angelic Pretty, um, not a head bow, or a barrette, and this is from the Marie Aristocats for Angelic Pretty, or Angelic Pretty for Disney Store Aristocats collection. Uh, it's a little barrette with Marie on it, it's just cute, I can wear it for fun and casual outfits. Um, I got another uh, hair accessory from the Disney store, which are these little Bear University um, hair ties. So I thought these were too cute to pass up to have little bears in my hair. Hair bears. And when I was at Tokyo Disneyland, I got these Miss Bunny ears. Um, we went right before Easter, so a lot of girls were wearing these. Sarah Kate actually got the thumper ones, the gray ones, and we wore them together, which was super cute. So. Um, hopefully I will find an excuse to wear these again, because they're very fun and cute. Um, when I went to Closet Child, I got my very first brand beret, which is my favorite brand, Jane Marple, um, and it's just a simple black beret, I've already been wearing this a bunch, and I super love it. So we've been to the Pokemon Center at the request of our good friend Adorkable on YouTube, and um, I was kind of thinking like, okay, I will follow you around, I'll help you vlog about your trip, but like, I don't really need anything from the Pokemon Center. Like, I loved Pokemon growing up, and I did, I did play the most re recent game, X and Y, but I don't really, I have a super small, like, home, I can't really fit Pokemon merch, I'm not gonna want anything. I was wrong. I wanted things. I wanted lots of things. What I got from the Pokemon Center. So, as you already know, if you've seen my videos, I love hedgehogs, and I love Pokemon, and I love the hedgehog Pokemon. Shaman is the absolute cutest, and so I got a folder, or two folders, of Shaman so I can put my important career documents in here, or something. I don't know, but he's cute. Um, I got a keychain with Sylveon, arguably. The cutest, pinkest, most adorable fairy type Pokemon. So, I have a Sylveon keychain. Gotta put that on my keys. I got Shaman socks. I had to buy three pairs because I didn't realize there was a set of three. But, um, they're super cute because now I can have little baby hedgehogs, little baby flower hedgehogs. 
on my feet got a shaman phone charm because if you haven't guessed it i really love shaman um got a pokey doll uh a little plush that i can use as a bag charm i was hoping this cutie pie can hang off my bag and look adorable and it does i got a shaman sticker because i really love shaman um i got some patches, a Charizard in a Parfait, because what? How cute is that? Um, and a Sylveon, just chilling, made of sparkles. And I got some Sylveon and cosplay Pikachu nail art, or nail stickers, so I can do some nail art. And hopefully that turns out as cute as it is in my mind. Um, and then the last thing is this cosplay Pikachu um little cosmetic pouch that cute little heart angle so i can keep all my pokemon themed cosmetics inside last kind of little thing i got in japan um really little they're I'm losing them it's a little <laughs> is these um gacha bun ah! and this isn't a mug i got at tokyo disney i actually ordered a parfait when we ate at the alice cafe or uh, the Alice Cafe in Tokyo Disney. Different from the Alice Cafe we went to in Shibuya, uh, which is also super cute. Um, and the parfait came with this cute mug to keep and take home, so of course I kept it and took it home. It's adorable. And I put all my Gashapon in here. If you don't know, Gashapon uh, is an onomatopoeia named for the sound that a capsule makes when you drop it out of a capsule machine. And these are the Gashas I won. Um, the first ones are some Tsum Tsums, which technically aren't Gashapon since it's part of an arcade machine, but it's really like an arcade game Gashapon combo because you always get a prize and you don't compete to win a prize. So I got a White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, a Snow White, a Beast from Beauty and the Beast, um, and an Easter, Easter Donald Duck. So I really like these. I don't know where I'm going to put them on, but... I'm very happy with them. Welcome to my home, gosh bonds. I got a Pikachu cookie, or like a biscuit Pikachu. Um, super cute. It's like a cookie and the frosting is Pikachu's face. And it says pocket monsters and a little biscuit. And this one's a phone charm, so you can stick it on your phone. And I got another one of these because I was really trying for the Sylveon one. But I got the Pikachu and the Eevee, which are the next best choices. I got a few sets of little bunnies. Um, these are kind of bunnies that cook. This is a bunny that bakes buns. Adorable. And this is a bunny that makes some sort of ramen in a soup pot. Oh, this is also a little part, so I kept it in the plastic for now. And then the very best gushes I got are the hedgehog gushes. They're so cute. I love hedgehogs so much. And I got two of these little albino hedgehogs. I'll have to give the other to somebody else. And then I got the very best hedgehog. I was really happy I wanted to win this one. He's a fatty, so he just kind of like slumps over in a lump and Trifle totally does this. So this is the one I wanted. This is the best gush upon. Now for the last thing, I'm going to show you the very best thing I bought in Japan. Um, <laughs> which was so fun. Um, I had a great time. Buying this, I also got this on my trip to the Jane Marple shop, which was just such a special experience for me, and I wanted to get something really special to remember the great time I had, and ah, I got this amazing, amazing, beautiful crown ring. I am obsessed with it. I want to wear it every day of my life, except I don't, because it's really delicate, but it totally matches this dress that I'm wearing, and it's kind of the best spring that's ever existed. So that's everything I ended up buying in Tokyo. That's my total Tokyo haul. Um, I hope you liked watching and I might have a few more videos up from my Tokyo trip in the next couple weeks. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe, I'm going to be posting those pretty soon too. Um, if you have any questions about where to buy something, where I got something, where to buy something, or if you're going to Tokyo and you want to know, or to shop for a certain thing, uh, let me know. Hit me up in the comments and I will impart whatever wisdom I learned on my trip and help you out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun shopping vicariously through my Tokyo trip and I will see you next video. Bye-bye!